Hey guys, if you're looking for how you can download and install R and R Studio, then you are in the right place. Watch this video until the end because I'm about to show you step by step process to download and install the latest version of R and R Studio from the official website on your Windows 11 machine correctly. And I'm also gonna show you how you can run one sample R program in R Studio. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, copy this link. I have provided this link in the video description. Now open up your favorite web browser. I am using Google Chrome here. Then paste the copied link into the search bar and hit enter. This is a step by step detailed blog post explaining you how to download and install R and R Studio on Windows 11. Scroll up and find download and install R. Here look for download R and click on this link. It will open official page for downloading the latest version of R for Windows. Now click on this download R for Windows link. And now you can see R installer file started downloading here. It will take some time to download. Once the downloads get finished, click on this up arrow and select show in folder. We need to install this file. Simply double click on this file and it will start the setup wizard. Let me close all other windows so that we can focus on installation part. Select your preferred language. I am selecting English here. Click on OK. This is the important information about R. You can scroll down and read. Now click on Next. Here it is asking for installation directory. You can change it if you like. Just make sure at least 2.5 MB of disk space is available. I am recommending you to stick to default. Press on Next button. Next again. We will just stick to default here and click on Next. No need to change anything here. Click on Next and again click Next. It will start the installation process. It will take some time to complete. And finally click on Finish button. We have successfully installed R on Windows 11. Now we need to install R Studio. Go back to your browser and scroll down and look for download and install R Studio and find download R Studio and click on this link. It will open the official page for downloading different version of R Studio like R Studio desktop free version. R Studio Desktop for commercial use, R Studio Server, and R Studio Server Pro. We want to install R Studio Desktop free version. To download it, click on this blue download button. It will redirect you to R Studio Desktop page. Click on this blue download R Studio for Windows button. It will take some time to download. Once the downloads get finished, Click on this up arrow and select show in folder. We need to install this file. Simply double click on this file and it will start the setup wizard. Let me close all other windows so that we can focus on installation part. It says welcome to the R Studio setup wizard. Now it's pretty much straightforward here just like next next finish stuff. Click on next, choose destination folder, I'll keep this as default, click on next. No need to change anything here and finally click on install button. It will take some time to install. It says R Studio has been successfully installed on your computer. Now we can click on finish button. Good job, we have successfully installed R Studio on Windows 11. To open R Studio, all you need to do is click on Windows button and type R Studio. 
and select Art Studio app. It will launch the Art Studio. Click on Yes. Let me expand the window. Let's quickly clear the console by pressing Edit and then click on Clear Console. Now I'll show you how you can print basic message in Art Studio. Type print parenthesis and in double quotes type your desired message. I'm writing subscribe now and press enter and it works. See subscribe now is printed here. If you are interested in learning more about R language, then be sure to check out our beginner's R language course at the first link in the video description. Subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to learn and become a successful programmer. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.